Welcome back all my Harry Potter family. Welcome back to the channel. All my new subscribers and my new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today's video, I would like to make some Irish mush, but today I want to make it from scratch all the way. So I want to show you the whole process of making Irish moss. You know, some people call it seaweed, but I call it Irish moss, and I'll show you how I cook mine and all the ingredients that I add to it. So let's go, let's check it out how I do it. Let's go. What we have here, babe? Irish mush with icy glass, linseed, and gomara bits. Look like some healthy things in a little pot, yeah? The man at the same card, do the man, you know? Jeez, that's cheese. Where are you sitting? Yeah. Where are you sitting? See the gum rabbit? Let me see. The, the um. Yeah. See? Yeah. See? Yeah. And you have the. Irish mash. Yeah. Well, you know, the icy glass. The icy glass boil out already. Yeah. And. Yeah. and you didn't see them, eh? Alright. Okay, yeah. I see how it looks when it's done. When you finish? I'm going to work with it, you know? Come on. Irish mash, you didn't see it. Oh my god. So, yeah, I bought some, bought some Irish mash in the morning, you know? Straighten up the structure away, you know? Yeah. So, it's still. Linseed, Irish marsh. What is it? Gamara bit. Gamara bit. Icy glass. Ah, icy glass too. Jesus, please. Some steel still going here so far, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see that? Get that. What do you say? I'll be able to make a thing this. Jesus, please. Watch out, sir. Mm -hmm. Alright, see what look what it's done. Go on with it, go on, you know? Go on, don't kill. Alright, Irish mash time now, Irish mash time. Look for this, people. Can you actually see? Let me see if you get the light brighter because I'm in the light when you see the thing, you know what I'm saying? Irish mash. Alright. We're now going to blend it and strain. I think we have blended it enough. See that? Yeah. We just want to strain it and then we are going to mix it up with our spice and stuff and then we come back when the mixture is finished. Irish mash. This is coming straight from Jamaica. Straight from Look at Jamaica. This, here. this is the good stuff right there, guys. Right there. That's what you want right there. Wow. Look at that. I heard it's a baby maker type of. <laughs> so, guys, when I'm done putting in my tin milk, my vanilla, my rose water, my grit nut and egg, and mix it up. I'll come right back and show you the finished product of this. Cool down. Is that cool down now? No, you don't mix it, you just strain. Yeah, you strain. 
I might definitely go find a top out of something there. These are the ones I did. Oh, the rest of the coconut. Rice and peas, you know, go ahead. Look at this, guys. Jeez, so. It's already thick and it hasn't even gone in the fridge yet. Yeah. See this? Yeah. See? It hasn't gone in the fridge to set yet and it is already thick. Imagine when your husband buy one bottle of this and drink it and decide to have baby time. Jeez. A boy baby, them something in him. A boy baby? Boy baby. You can't get no girl with them, eh? Straight boy Straight picking. Straight boy picking. Yeah, yeah. Chang. That is it, guys. You know how it is now, so. Every time you drink them, you know where you get. You know what you're getting yourself into. Boy baby time, she say, you know. Alright. But you know, sometimes I look you and get a girl still, but you know. <laughs> most of the boy them things are for you. Know, strength and strength. Tell me what you get. You still have the day? You never have the light on this one. I'm pick it up a little bit. I'm never out of school. Yeah. Just do it a little bit, yeah. Boy, be the thing next, yeah. Oh, yeah, I call it, call it, call it slime, you know. Come like an okra slime. And this is it. It's the boy, baby maker. Guys, careful how you drink this. Alright. Come not next, guys. Let me know. Ow. Jeez, I see a knuckle out there, the scratch off your knuckle, you know, guys. You gotta be careful. Ah. No easy. When he's helping me by gratering the nutmeg to put in the um Irish marsh. So yeah, you know. I mean, I'm to scratch out his finger I, off. I'm trying to grate his finger off. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with him, but you know, I pray he doesn't. Okay, babe, stop. Okay, thank you. I don't want him to grate his finger off, so you know, I have to tell him stuff. Do got one little knob there, man. One little green thing there. Yeah. It ain't too bad, though. So, guys, we are now adding sweetener to the Irish marsh. We're adding um, condensed milk. Well, I just had one a while ago. I don't know how it's gonna, how far it's gonna go. But yes. Oh my god, this is so thick. It's so thick. What it look like, man? See that? It's just Don't beginning think it is to... like, I mean, what it look like, uh, man? Hmm? <laughs> it looks so thick. It's just, just naturally thick. Yes, guys, I'm just trying to... Oh, really scared. So guys, all this brown thing is a nutmeg. I'm trying to um, blend it, um, mix it in, and I put a little um, rose water also and vanilla, mm -hmm. and I am combining it. Oh Jesus! But well, guys, this thing is thick. It's tired hand to mix. It is so thick. Look at this. Real stuff. No adjective and no preservative. Real stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna pour this in bottles. No additives, guys. All natural. Yes, sir. I normally just get like a little cup of this, um, this normally, but today, guys, I think I might get two cups. Yeah, this one looks very nice. 
you know, I'm not greedy. I know I'm, you know, I stay with a wine cart, but you know, I have to be greedy. Look at this thing, guys. Oh my goodness. I mean, I. Let me help you out, babe. Oh man. If, if she's not looking, I'm gonna taste some. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour an extra cup out. When she turn her back, I'm gonna take a cup out on the side while she's not looking. I'm waiting for her to leave. Okay. Don't say anything, guys. Oh, she didn't leave. She didn't leave, guys. Oh Lord! What happened? I spilled it. I didn't mean to, but now that I did. <laughs> you spill it because you want to taste it. I didn't mean to spill that's, it. That's what you did. Guys, I really didn't mean to spill it, guys, but oh my goodness. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, if you ever had some Irish moss before, guys, when you buy it in the bottle and all those stuff is one thing, but let me tell you something, guys. It has nothing, and I do mean nothing, on this right here. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. This is what we talking about here, guys. Yes. And like I told you, we're gonna make the Irish marsh, and now that it's all done, we have it all bottled up like this. Bottles. Yeah. Irish marsh all bottled up. See how it looks in the bottle, guys? Nice and rich. Yeah. Take the top off. Real thick. Yeah. Very nice. So you know, I'm going to give one taste. Mm -hmm. Nice and thick. Yes, sir. Very nice. Let me know how your Irish marsh turned out. If you try to cook it and make it, hopefully it turned out nice and good like mine. Don't forget guys to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next video. We're out. Uh, because, you know, I eat And that could have been, um... Wow, what kind, of, what kind of chicken is this, babe? Oh, uh, we're doing some country fried chicken. Country fried chicken today, guys. I part time the kitchen with my baby, and we're doing... Crunch it fried. When you get done, guys, you'll see. Remember earlier I was showing you the rice and cheese cooking? Now guess what happened? It's all ready, guys. And, this, and guys, this is not red beans. This is pink beans. That's mm. why the rice look like this. It's not oh. red beans, it's pink beans. Okay. Okay, guys, so stay tuned and see how this brown steak chicken is going to turn out here, guys. Brown stew country fried chicken here. Let's see how it's gonna turn out, but so far, it looks like it's ready to eat, but let, let's wait until it's all the way done and see. And then the other one. Stay tuned, guys, stay tuned. The other one. This one looks like it's gonna be a good one. Looks like it's gonna be good. Looks good, smell good. Check it out, I put upon the mix. Right in our cooking space here, you know, cook up a thing, you know.